a very important theme of you know two days deliberation that's wetlands for life in fact the life of kashmir is its wetlands and high time we educate our youth our children even at the school level uh, how to preserve them what challenges are there in order to preserve them and what has gone wrong where how to correct ourselves whether it's the policy whether it's our own uh, you know negligence at community level or at government level we need to educate our youth our children our system so that the high time now we preserve our wetlands otherwise after some time i think kashmir will have no wetland at least we were happy to see such a good you know environment such a good ecosystem of the valley but we as academicians people in uh, you know media we need to preserve and sh uh, show some something to the next generations otherwise they will not know what the kashmir was you know like already you know lots of changes since we have grown up uh, for decades now lots of changes are there uh but i'm very happy that uh, you know uh, cms and other organizations i can see number of organizations who are collaborating for today's uh, workshop uh, and i'm sure that some of the recommendations which will come uh, and a very good training a very good you know sensitization for our own students itself for our own university itself i am happy that there is a field visit tomorrow to vular lake the many of the students i think maybe maximum of them must have visited vular lake maybe for some of them it must be the first experience to visit vular lake so itself is a um, you know education for them and i am sure it will be a fruitful visit in order to Uh, see uh, you know the threats what our vular lake uh, is facing already uh, you know uh, it's a small uh, wetland now in my you know childhood days when we used to go for picnic it was a bigger you know wetland it has shrinked a lot now and uh, definitely as i said we need to introspect what has gone wrong where high time whatever is now there we need to preserve it so i am sure that awareness programs like this sensitization programs like this will definitely uh, you know help and uh, about our uh, merk is one of the oldest departments of our university has produced many media persons journalists teachers uh, you know uh, working in different fields now uh, and uh, i'm sure that merk has a role to play in this sensitization and definitely you know it will uh, do so uh, and um, you know i my one suggestion would be uh, let this type of awareness be amongst the school children also could be simple you know some poster making what they think of uh, you know wetland or something like that because awareness has to come from uh, there from school children itself from college children itself so that that awareness campaign goes on there like a movement it should be like a movement and uh, we take care of it kashmir is blessed with multiple waterlands lakes rivers and wetlands as we all know we are so familiar with the dal vular nagin and anchar and then we have so many uh, what we call in our local language sar they are water bodies 
uh, and wetlands. We have Hoker Sir, we have Gill Sir, and we have so many Sir Sirs. But again, due to urbanization and unplanned development, these wetlands have fallen prey to uh, uh, um, uh, a, a big crunch, and uh, all the water bodies are facing a, a, a severe. You know, they are converging. They are facing a severe threat. Uh, so the government is doing a lot and we also have at present the sustainable and developing the goals in which environment, health and all these uh, issues are being uh, you know, delved into and we at the academia, we at MERC have been unendingly trying to connect the industry and the academia and provide linkages between national, international and local agencies so that our students who are our human resource and they are the future of tomorrow they are mentored to uh, become professionals tomorrow and provide inputs professionally uh, and uh, professionally uh, so that they can become productive members of uh, development organizations of media and other agencies today's event and workshop is an event in this direction our alumni who are working at different international and national levels have done a great job our students uh, former uh, students our alumni are uh, environmental journalists uh, working at the national and international and local level and their writings and because of their writings and their photographs and their video uh, documentaries that they have presented they have won laurels to our department and for their own uh, professional development uh, this is a great honor for our department that our, dep our MERC has played a great role in being at the helm of all developmental efforts that we academically could put forward uh, uh, as a platform to our students to uh, grow and you know, provide your inputs into the professional field. So today's uh, workshop is an event in order to provide uh, an exposure to our students. We are extremely thankful to our sponsors and to CMS Vatavaran. Uh, they have provided our students and they are providing us with plenty of uh, exposure in terms of interactions, in terms of expert, uh, um, expert interactions. And I'm sure this event will provide a great opportunity to our students to uh, relook and rethink on how uh, media students can work towards sustainability and development of our natural resources and maintenance of the same. I feel preserving and protecting these wetlands in Sharinagar and whole GNK is a crucial and very not only for their ecological balance but ensuring the sustainable development too. And I'm sure you future, me future media professionals can play an important role in creating the awareness and public perceptions. I am glad to share that my organization, Center for Media Studies, actively engage in sensitizing in the process of the uh, sensitizing about the environmental issues for past 30 years. We focus on research, capacity building, communications, initiatives, and policy inputs. Students, today's workshops will be covering the knowledge-based sessions in the significance of significance, threats, and the challenges of the wetlands. You will also learn the role of the media in advocating the wetland conservations and the effective storytelling techniques for the environment reporting. Apart from that, Wetland Mitra Voluntary Group will be formed. How youth like you can engage and play an active role in protecting and conserving the natural resources, participants will can enroll themselves as a wetland mitras and the detailed information will be shared during the technical sessions. Tomorrow we will be friends with visiting the Wooler Vantage Park where experts from the forest and wildlife, wildlife department will be providing you the knowledge of the process and the management interventions. We are thankful to the Wooler conservations and management authorities for coordinating and organizing this visit. I appeal to each one of you to please actively engage, interact and express your perspective during the workshop. Recently, the government of Germany and government of India in 2022 signed this uh, agreement, uh, sort of a joint declaration of intent it's called the Green and Sustainable Development Partnership, uh, where they've put together certain priority activities of joint working until 
2030 in order to sort of progress towards the sustainable development goals and also the Paris Agreement. Uh, projects like this one within which this activity is being conducted falls within this GSDP. For anyone who's interested to know more on what this GSDP is about, just Google Joint Declaration of Intent, GSDP India, Germany, and you'll come to know. Uh, this project in particular, the wetlands project, uh, GIZ is implementing in, cooper in cooperation with the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Uh, this is something we started in 2019 and uh, we entered JNK only recently last year. Now, if you compare wetlands as a sector uh, to something like forestry, so forestry is quite well established, it's been there for a very long time. But if you look at specific rules and regulations which have come into the country for wetlands, this is still a very decent development. The first time we got rules specifically for wetlands was in 2010. Uh, since then, a lot of progress has happened. Uh, for instance, when we started this project in 2019, there were 26 Ramsar sites. Uh, and just for context, Ramsar site is this sort of tag given to wetlands which are of international importance. You have a few NJNKs where Buller being one of them. And when we started, we had 26 of them in India. And now currently we have around 80 Ramsar sites, uh, which is one of the highest in Asia to compare most countries. Apart from that, there's also been a lot of effort uh, through the ministry and also various state veteran authorities and different uh, organizations and knowledge partners to sort of build the wetland portfolio in India in terms of the various activities that are happening, the various projects that are there. And if you consider some recent examples, uh, 2023 World Wetlands Day, as ma'am said, 2nd of Feb, which is celebrated each year, we had announced, the ministry had announced uh, a Save Wetlands campaign. And throughout the year, there are several activities, several targets, which all states and UTs were achieving and building up towards. And this year, when we had World Wetlands Day celebration, we, in fact, India was hosting World Wetlands Day globally because we had the Ramsar Convention Secretary General actually with us here in India to celebrate some of the achievements of the Save Wetlands campaign. Uh, this year too, the campaign will continue, there will be several activities. A key focus of Save Wetlands campaign and recent initiatives has been on sort of enhancing people's participation in wetland management, uh, a sort of a whole of society approach. And this is where a lot of the, you know, homegrown solutions are already there. It's not like it needs an external stimulus. For instance, if you look at historically, culturally, uh, there's always been a very strong association of people with wetlands. And I think now the program is trying to focus on supporting such initiatives which are still there. And in doing so, building a sort of community stewardship towards wetland management in India. And I think you as future media professionals also have a key role to play over there in terms of building further awareness of what wetlands are, what are the various initiatives, who are the sort of local champions who are already working towards it. The more we talk about it, the more support such initiatives get. And on the whole, just giving more coverage to wetlands when you talk about environmental coverage generally in the media sector. Being rich in biodiversity, wetlands are important for growth and survival of life on this planet. They are ecological powerhouses that provide a wide range of ecosystem service such as water storage, water purification, flood mitigation, storm, uh, storm buffers, aesthetic enhancement of landscapes, and other socio-cultural and recreational activities. Wetlands support different livelihoods, such as fishing, agriculture, and tourism. Despite their crucial role, they face threats on several fronts, be it encroachments, urbanization, pollution, climate change, and land use change. There is an urgent need to protect these ecosystems and advocate for their sustainable management.